it's week nine of the NFL. And at center stage, it's the Raiders' superstar running back. He'll be a focal point of his offense this week. It's the Raiders and the Eagles on Sunday night primetime. Just north of the Delaware Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Tonight, we've got a great Sunday night matchup on tap as it'll be the Las Vegas Raiders taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the respect... The first two months of the regular season down. What will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. And they'll be let out by their third-year quarterback. If you ask coaches at any level to design their ideal leader of a team, I think they're going to check every box with this guy. He's got the poise to handle responsibility. He stays calm under any kind of pressure. And he brings out the best of his teammates each and every week. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. Line of scrimmage, the 43 on second and four. They'll bring a receiver in motion right. Now a fake on the jet sweep, and they'll instead run up the middle. You look at this Raiders defense. And right now in the National Football League, they're ranked number 18 against the pass. And even though that's not the greatest ranking in the world, one thing you... And the Raiders have got him! Charles Haley with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Raiders will take over now first and ten. So now it's the Raiders' turn to go on offense for the first time. And trotting out there, their tall quarterback standing at 6'5". I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one is capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. First carry for Peyton Barber. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They run on first down with Jackson. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's the second and eight. Off the play fake. Bledsoe. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. A quick throw there is incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. He finds his man complete. That's Christensen. So the completion good for six yards. And that will bring up second down. Off play action. Bledsoe. Man open left side is Brown. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He's got Casper over the middle. Touchdown! A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Raiders put the Knights' first points on the board as they take the early lead. Janikowski good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25.
They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. The loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Clark. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Cunningham. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 41. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. A play fake. Now Cunningham. He's got his man. It's Sterling Sharp. It's the first time that they've looked his way tonight, and he comes up with a first down on the play. Cunningham. That is caught. It's the tight end gunner. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the run. They'll try to run this one in. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. A great effort there. His fifth rushing touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. They begin the drive on the ground with Allen. And a short pickup to about the 27. It'll be second down. Off the play fake. Bledsoe. And that is caught. It's T.O. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. Out route, and it's complete to Brown. Add the gain here to the previous play, and it's better than 40 yards total. On first and 10, Bledsoe. Throwing left side, it's complete. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Seven-seven. Our score after one. Second quarter now, and it's Las Vegas with the football, as they've got it with a first and ten. Now a handoff inside, it's Jackson. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. This is second and eight. They'll run again with Jackson. And power running here down to the six-yard line. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Back to throw. Bledsoe. Touchdown, Raiders! Terrell Owens from six yards away and the Raiders have taken the lead Janikowski adds the extra point and that makes the score 14 to 7 and there will not be a return here it's a touchback and it'll come out to the 25 yard line here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession coming off every player's friend the open week from last weekend oh there's no doubt about that even if you're coming off of a loss as they did the open week is exactly what you need after you kind of get over it a little bit right rest up the mind rest up the body get yourself ready to go and they have to be eager to play again especially since they lost the last time out and the Raiders call on a nickel set for third down now Cunningham, and that is incomplete. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Now Brown. Oh, good move. They call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And he's been good. Two first-half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. 
does a lot for your confidence, does a great deal for your team, gives them a lead, and they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Now a throw here to his running back. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and it's second down. Looking to throw. Bledsoe. This one caught by Terrell Owens. Here is third and five. Back to throw again. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. And Janikowski bangs it through. And they will move up by 10 now. 17 to 7. So that one on target, and it adds to this first half lead. And maybe we're too early to worry too much about one score lead, two score lead, et cetera. But this is where you kind of start banking those points that come in helpful later on. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And yeah, they dipped a game below 500 following the loss last week. And you get the sense that maybe this team's at a little bit of a crossroads here. Yeah, I think that's a really good way to put it because what's that old malaprop? If you come to a fork in the road, take it. <laughs> because this crew, they're losing ground fast. They've got to start winning some ball games. And the good teams, they're starting to separate themselves, and these guys are being left behind. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Ball on the 40 now. Here's second and nine. Cunningham to throw. Man open. That's Juwan Winfrey. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. Cunningham looking to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a give right side. Clark. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. And they run the option on second down. And they'll get him down right about the 20. He'll get two on the keeper, but it becomes now a third down. Here's Cunningham. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. So on now the field goal team for Philadelphia. From the left hash, this from 37. And his kick is indeed good. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. So the three points there in CD, that helps them inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. They go play action here on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Second and ten. To throw again. Bledsoe. His throw incomplete. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. On is the Hall of Famer Ray Guy to punt this away on fourth down. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Call that a 44-yard punt, five on the return. And it will be Eagles football first and ten. Throwing to start the drive. Cunningham. And his throw is incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read. And by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. The Eagles on third down. Two for five to this point. This is third and ten. Operating from the gun. Cunningham. And down he goes. Brought down a sack. Here's Aaron Sipos now. 
He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Pushing through the contact. It's a 45-yard punt, six yards on the return. And they will take over first and 10. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. It's the second quarter. His team has the lead, but I think he's hoping for a little bit more production out of himself. And we often talk about preaching patience to a runner when things are a little bumpy in the early going, but we have to do the same thing with the offensive line. They can't wait to halftime and make the adjustments. They have to do it from series to series so those surface tablets come into play. Check out what the defense is doing and see if they can find a better way to run it. So they search for that patience here now. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw. Bledsoe going right side here, and that's complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. They'll look to throw again. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Again, he'll drop to throw underneath to Allen. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. To throw on third down, Bledsoe. And off balance throw there, and it's going to wind up incomplete. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out, and his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Eagles offense is going to take over late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. On second down, here's Cunningham. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They run the counter. It's Clark. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Throwing to start the drive. Bledsoe. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. Throwing again, Bledsoe. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And he will score. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Terrell Owens as the first half is winding down. And the Raiders will extend their lead here just before halftime. Janikowski good with the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. Now the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it. And we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, Good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. Yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Now a carry for Allen. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple and that's it. 
They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Operating from the gun, Bledsoe, short completion, just four yards, and that'll bring us to a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. That is caught, and he is going to have the Raiders' first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Up the middle they go with a big back, Jackson. And this one not going anywhere. They get him at the 44 for a gain of just a yard. Second and nine from the 44. Looking to throw, Bledsoe. And he's got his man on the out route. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Now a give. It's Jackson. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stopped short of the 35. Now second and three. Back to throw. Bledsoe. And he's got his man in stride. Complete. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Christensen. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll bring up second down. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Got a man. It's Brown. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Out is Janikowski now for the Raider field goal try. From the right hash, this from 44 yards out. Janikowski's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high, as he once had six oh, field oh, goals. Oh, Brandon, but what, six? Let's hope we don't get that again, please. <laughs> okay, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Now a first down throw, Cunningham. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. Play action, it's Cunningham. He's got it complete to Clark. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Second and seven. Now Cunningham. And a quick throw here, that's complete. It'll go as a gain of four. And now we've got a third down and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. The open man is Clark, complete. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Call it a loss of two there on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. That's a nice clip and save sequence there defensively because they did everything as they would have wanted to. They forced the third down, blanketed the field with coverage, nowhere to go with the football, forced the dump off to the back, and even then they closed quickly and got him down behind the line of scrimmage. You name it. They did it well in that last sequence. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Throwing on first down. Bledsoe, a good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Operating from the gun. Bledsoe. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. They've got another first down. The Raider passing game clicking on all cylinders right now. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want fall. Oh, a first mistake for them in the ball game as it's intercepted. 
And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. Boy, a big play right there. I mean, a touchdown on this drive could have really put some separation on the scoreboard. Instead, it's the defense who scores. And partner, we got a game again. And we do have one because of what you just described. A defense that understood what was going on in this game and did something about it. They knew their offense needed some help. They just provided it. They're back in this one. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. So here are the Raiders now to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. They'll begin the drive with Jackson on the ground. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Off play action. Bledsoe. This is brought in by Casper. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. Off the play fake. Bledsoe. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Second and ten now. Third quarter action from Philadelphia, PA. Operating from the gun. Bledsoe. Nine yards. Not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop it behind the line. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Looking to throw. Bledsoe. Caught by Allen. And he'll get it down here to the 43. The Raiders on third down. They're at 50%. Four for eight. This is third and four. Back to throw. Bledsoe. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. They run with Jackson out of the gun, and it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package, and that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Already a pair of third down conversions for them on this drive, but right now they need five yards on this third down try. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Out is Janikowski now for the Raider field goal try. On the right hash, officially this will be a 51-yard attempt. And Janikowski bangs it through, and that will extend their lead even further. So all things considered, that's not the final nail, but it does make things exceedingly difficult now on the other side. Yeah, because obviously now with a 16-point game, the other guys don't need just two touchdowns. They need a couple of two-point conversions as well. Plus, they'll need either a turnover or an onside kick in there somewhere. So you're just adding to the list of things that need to happen in sequence. And it's going to be a pretty tall order this late in the game. And he ran right through one tackle as he fights forward for a gain of seven. They'll keep it on the ground. Clark. And yeah, this is going to be an Eagles first down as he gets it up past the 35. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. To throw on second down, Cunningham. That's complete to Sharp. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. 
Sharp in motion right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. From the 48-yard line, here's the second and eight. Now Cunningham. He'll get this complete to Jalen Rager. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 36. Cunningham. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. Second and a couple. Cunningham to throw. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And the Raiders are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. They'll start here with Jackson, and it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up, and then some on second and 13. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Bledsoe. Throwing left sideline there but it's incomplete. Here's Ray Guy now as he'll punt it away for the second time. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. On the return, Jackson. A punt of 46, a return of five. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news, but this is still a two-score game and they need points on this drive. There he goes, left side. A big play there for Philly. 48 yards. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Cunningham looking to throw. He's going to be sacked. Back at the 23-yard line. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Now Cunningham has the ball knocked out. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. It's complete, swings it out to his running back. The Eagles unable to convert there on fourth. And the Raider D, they get the football back. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. On second down, this is Jackson. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Whistles now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Pass taken in by his big tight end. Touchdown! A great play there. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Raiders are closing in on a 6-2 and two start as they extend this fourth quarter advantage. Janikowski adds the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 23. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. On first down, it's Cunningham. He finds his man complete. It's Clark. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Here's Cunningham. That'll be caught by Sharp. He'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. On first and ten, Cunningham. Throw right side is going to be caught by Clark. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. 
On second down, here's Cunningham. He's got the hook up here to Deshaun Jackson. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. They'll look to throw again. Now whistles and a stoppage here. Looks like one of the Eagles is in some discomfort out there. Now a second and ten. Back to throw again. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Throwing on third and long. Cunningham. And he's got his man sharp complete. So this one a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. But if you step back and look at this, CD, a pretty impressive victory. Not the best defense in the NFL they were going against, but it is a top 10 defense in this league, and they're pretty sound, but yet they found a way to get it done and get the victory. Yeah, I got to give them credit because I think their game plan was really, really strong for this one. They knew where they wanted to attack. They knew how they wanted to execute, and they did it with confidence and a little bit of verve as well. So for Las Vegas, they climbed to 6-2 on the year as they close in on the midpoint of this 17-game schedule. And they'll have another road date next week with the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, for Philadelphia, they fall two games under 500 now at 3-5. and five. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.